So in this slide we talk about product of cell complexes. So consider two cell complexes X and Y. Now both cell complexes contain cells. Yeah, X contains a series of cells and Y also contains a series of cells. So denote all cells of X as EI alpha. Yeah, so that means you could have zero cells, two cells, three cells, five cells in X. Similarly for Y. So EI alpha ranges over all cells of X. So for example, you could consider X consists of two zero cells and three two cells. Yeah, so that will give I as five. A more concrete example would be torus. Now, at the start of our lecture series, we gave an example of torus. And now we are just reconstructing that example as a product of complexes. So you already have seen the structure of S1. Yeah, the structure of S1 consists of two cells only, E1 and E0. So I'm going to write it uh, multiple times so that we can appropriately form the pairs S1 times S1. So now it is the turn of other S1. I have color coded them so that there is no confusion. Yeah, so again I am just forming the pairs. So just making sure that we don't have the same pair repeated. Now we add the dimensions. Yeah, what are the corresponding dimensions? 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. 1 plus 1 is 2. So this dimension 1 means that we have a, yeah, something like this. Where this circle comes from E1 and the point comes from E0. So again I have color coded it to see that where it comes from. In the second part we have this E1 coming from the S1 in pink and the other one the point coming from E0. In the second case both are E0 it is just the intersection of the above two. And in the last case we just have a two cell. So how do we generate the torus? We said we start with the point and in or we can say we start with two circles wedged together yeah so we have the first circle which is the one cell the first one cell the second circle which is the second one cell the point of intersection and then we fill the two cell that's what we said yeah you fill the two cell you get the torus so just we color code it so this generator is this part the second generator here, I'm going to color code it so that it is clear, is this part, the intersection E0, E0, I'm going to mark in blue, is this part, and the two cell is what I fill, fill up. Yeah, this E1, E1, the two cell is what I fill up. So that is pretty much it. I mean, the product, that's how you obtain it. You start with a zero cell, put two one cells and then fill with the two cells.